गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो वी आर डूइंग द चैप्टर इज कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मॉडल एंड कंजुगेट वी हैव डन एंड सिंपल क्वेश्चन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दोलर फॉर्म ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर पोलर फॉर्म ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर पोलर फॉर्म polar form of complex number that is polar form of complex number polar form is also known as trigonometric form trigonometric form means when we writing z is equal to 3 plus 2i so this is known as the cartesian form कार्टीजन फॉर्म लाइक जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस आई वाई सो एक्स फॉर्म आ वाई दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग कार्टीजन फॉर्म सो बिफोर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट पोलर फॉर्म ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर ऑल्सो नोन एज टिग्नोमेट्रिक फॉर्म तो फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड द आर्गन प्लेन फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज आर्गन प्लेन लाइक यू नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन सपोज वेन When you are in class नाइन suppose a point is given थ्री comma टू तो इट मीन दिस इज द पोजिशन ऑफ एक्स दिस इज द पोजिशन ऑफ वाई एंड यू आर गोइंग टू प्लॉट दीज पॉइंट इन दिस प्लेन तो दिस प्लेन इज नोन एज कार्टीजन प्लेन एक्स एक्स डैश वाई वाई डैश थ्री कॉमा टू बोथ पॉजिटिव इट मीन्स लाई इन फर्स्ट क्वार्टेंट तो दिस थ्री दिस पॉइंट इज टू दिस इज नोन एज थ्री कॉमा टू सिमिलरली माइनस थ्री कॉमा वन तो एक्स इज निगेटिव एक्स इज निगेटिव वाई इज पॉजिटिव तो इट इज माइनस थ्री एंड दिस पॉइंट इज वन तो दिस इज लाइन विच क्वार इट इज लाइन फर्स्ट क्वार इट इज लाइन सेकेंड क्वार सेकेंड क्वार मीन्स माइनस कॉमा प्लस माइनस मीन्स एक्स इज निगेटिव वाई इज पॉजिटिव सपोज माइनस वन कॉमा माइनस वन इज गिवेन बोथ आर निगेटिव एक्स इज निगेटिव वाई इज निगेटिव तो दिस इज माइनस वन दिस इज माइनस वन Let us take this point is A, this is B, and this is C. A, B, C. So this point, this lie in which coordinate? Third coordinate. Since x is negative, y is also negative. Suppose one comma minus two is given. So x is positive and y is negative. This is one. This is minus two. This point is D minus one. Sorry, one comma minus two. so this is line which coordinate fourth coordinate so this is the simple procedure we have to adopt to plot a point in this plane and this plane is known as cartesian plane so this is a simple concept but now we are talking about argon plane so what is argon plane so the definition of argon plane argon plane to represent to represent the complex number on the plane is known as is known as argon plane this is a simple definition argon plane so this x axis is known as real axis means the real part to be plot on x axis is known as real axis that means x axis is known as real axis and y axis is known as imaginary axis imaginary axis so suppose this is a real axis that is x x dash and this is imaginary axis y y dash and this is as you know origin the intersection point of x and y so suppose a z is given Three plus two i. So points are coming three comma two. So you are going to plot. This is is three. This is two. So this is z three comma two. So this is the way. If z is given minus one minus six i. So points are coming minus one comma minus six. So this is minus one and this is six. This point is suppose minus z. This is representing minus z of this. So this is lie here. In which coordinate? Third coordinate. So whenever a complex number is given and the question is saying plot on this plane, 
तो दिस प्लेन इज नोन एज आर्गिन प्लेन सिंपली वॉट एवर द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इज गिवेन आइडेंटिफाई द रियल वैल्यू रियल वैल्यू मीन्स एक्स इमेजनरी वैल्यू दैट इज वाई एंड प्लॉट इन दिस मैनर दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग आर्गिन प्लेन नाउ वन मोर थिंग इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल प्रोसीजर एज इट इज वट एवर वी हैव डन इन क्लास नाइन जस्ट इनहेंस फॉर्म सपोज जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस आई वाई इज गिवेन सो एक्स एक्स डैस वाई वाई डैस जेड इज गिवेन एक्स कॉमा वाई सो पॉइंट इज कमिंग एक्स कॉमा वाई इट इज इन फर्स्ट क्वार्टन तो यू विल सी दिस पोर्शन इज एक्स दिस पोर्शन इज वाई तो इट इज जेड वेन वी फाइंड कंजुकेट तो इट इज एक्स माइनस वाई दैट मीन्स एक्स कॉमा माइनस वाई विश क्वार्टन फोर्थ क्वार्टन तो इट इज एक्स इट इज दिस तो दिस रिप्रेजेंटिंग कॉन्जुगेट ऑब्जेक्ट इट मीन्स इट इज लाइन विच क्वार्टन फोर्थ क्वार्टन इफ यू फाइंड माइनस जेड तो इट मीन्स माइनस एक्स माइनस वाई आई वाई तो पॉइंट इज माइनस एक्स कॉमा माइनस वाई तो दिस इज माइनस एक्स दिस इज माइनस वाई तो दिस रिप्रेजेंटिंग माइनस जेड दिस रिप्रेजेंटिंग माइनस जेड एंड इफ वी आर गोइंग टू मूव ऑन विच क्वार्डेंट सेकेंड क्वार्डेंट तो सेकेंड क्वार्डेंट मीन्स माइनस एक्स प्लस आई वाई तो इट इज माइनस एक्स कॉमा वाई सो माइनस एक्स दिस इज माइनस एक्स दिस इज वाई सो वॉट वी कैन राइट इन प्लेस ऑफ दिस दैट इज माइनस माइनस Z bar means this is a conjugate when it's taking minus it is minus plus so this is a simple representation of any complex number z is given so x comma y conjugate fourth quadrant minus z third quadrant and this so this is the way we can represent we can represent a complex number on the plane that is known as argand plane now after that these are the simple representation then after that we are going to explain polar form again trigonometric form before i am going to explain polar form there is a one conversion of the angle conversion of the angle as you know the system si system system of fundamental unit si system so SI in SI system, the SI unit of angle is radian. Till class ten, we are using the angle in degree, but now we are in class eleven, so we use the SI unit of angle that is radian. So there is a conversion unit, one eighty degree is equal to pi radian. is equal to 200 grades this is the simple conversion to convert any angle degree to radian radian to grades grade to degree whatever the thing is given so 180 degree is equal to pi radian so we have to focus only this much 180 degree is equal to pi radian 180 degree is equal to pi radian so 1 degree is pi by 180 radian do not confuse the value of pi is 180 degree 180 degree is equal to pi radian so if suppose a angle is given 60 degree and you want to write the angle in radian to so 60 multiply by pi by 180 that is pi by 3 radian suppose 120 degree is given so 120 multiply by pi by 180 it is 2 pi by 3 Suppose one fifty degree is given, so one fifty multiplied by pi by one eighty, so it is three pi by six. So whatever the angle is given in degree, just multiply by pi by one eighty to convert any angle into degree. In a same manner, if an angle is given, suppose three pi by four. so this angle is given this angle is given in radian 3 pi by 
since it is representing in pi it means it is in radian so now we want to convert into degree just multiply by 180 upon pi pi by 180 180 upon pi pi by cancel 4 it will be 4 4 just 16 4 5 just 20 it is 135 degree suppose 3 pi by 5 is given 180 upon pi pi is cancel 5 3 15 3 30 36 3 6 18 3 3 just 9 or 110 108 degree so just opposite when angle is given in degree multiply by pi by 180 to get in radian if angle is given in radian multiply by 180 upon pi to get the answer in degree because it is a use in polar form that is why I am explaining first this is a part of trigonometry. so when trigonometry will start we are going to explain in a much deeper manner way now next is polar form so polar form of complex number so again I repeat a complex number z it is x plus i y so this is known as Cartesian form this is a Cartesian form so this is x x dash y y dash so x comma y this is x comma y so when we plot this position is x this position is y this distance is x this distance is y let us take this point is p this is o join o to p and this angle is taken as theta so when we find op the mod of op is under root x square plus y square perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square so this op under root x square plus y square so as you know if z is given and when we find its mod it is coming x square plus y square so it is under root x square plus y square simply known as modulus of z modulus of z that is r so this is known as x square plus y square is known as r let us take it as given a name is r so this is r and the value of r is under root x square plus y square now we have to find the value of theta so first of all you see theta so this is perpendicular this is perpendicular upon hypotenuse is equal to sin theta perpendicular is y hypotenuse r sin theta so y is equal to r sin theta this is the value of y y is equal to r sin theta it is also known as component along y axis so whenever you are going to find component along y axis it is known as r sin theta similarly base base upon hypotenuse base upon hypotenuse base is x hypotenuse r is known as cos theta the value of x is r cos theta so it is known as component along x axis in the physics it is a need of com its component along x axis that is r cos theta and component along y axis that is r sin theta now here you know r is what modulus how to find modulus under root x square plus y square now there is a term is appeared is theta this theta this theta is known as modulus sorry this theta is known as argument also known as amplitude sometimes the value the question is saying find argument also known as amplitude it means we have to find the value of theta we have to find the value of theta so The value of theta is less than or equal to 180 degree greater than minus 180 degree that means the value of theta is less than or equal to pi in radian and greater than minus pi theta lie in between this means theta value in this in this is the range of the theta it is a principal value of the theta the value of theta the very important point the value of theta depends depends in which quadrant 
इन विच क्वार्रेंट कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर लाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू द complex number we identify first in which quadrant the complex number lies then we find the value of theta so so you have seen z is equal to x plus i by this is a cartesian form since x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta this i already explained so z is equal to in place of r in place of x r cos theta y r sin theta so r will take common it is cos theta plus i sin theta so this representing the trigonometric form also known as polar form any co complex number is given cartesian form and we have to write in this polar form so polar form is equal to z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta where r is representing modulus and theta is known as amplitude this theta is known as amplitude also known as argument now the thing is how to find amplitude and argument how to find r so we are going to discuss now how to find argument and how to find amplitude